warfare? Quickly, you must tell the Karnamatra all that has happened. One of our foragers spotted food nearby. See what you can gather. Welcome back to Marokai. What news? Have you eaten? Even outnumbered. And without Onara, we will fight on. We cannot surrender to Balakar, and we will not bow to his primalist masters. You are welcome at my fire. Good luck. Ah, your clan is as motivated as ever, Sansok Khan. Enter, Tommel. The Khans eagerly await your report. Honored Khans, we have spotted a war band in Makud, headed toward the Horn of Dressor. Balakar is leading them himself. The daughters... How large is the war band? We should be wary. This might be a diversion. Enough to overwhelm the village at the base of the hill, but far from all their forces. What of Koraleth? Have you seen her? Or Onara? No, not yet. We are still looking for them. We must assume the Nokud want to destroy the Horn, to prevent us from calling the Green Dragons. Sansok is correct. This may be a diversion. We cannot commit all of our forces, even if it is to defend our most sacred artifact. I will take the Khan's guard and confront Balakar myself. Tommel, outsider, you will come with me. Tigari Khan, Sansak Khan, gather your clans and prepare for battle. Once Onara has been found and the Green Dragons have been called, we will march on Nokadin Hold. Your presence is a favorable omen. Must hurry. The Horn of Drusol must be protected at all costs. I don't think an outsider can really understand the gravity of the situation, Kanamatra. Then I will educate them. The Horn is our most sacred relic, built generations ago by Tira herself as a symbol of the friendship between the Maruk and the dragons. Before the dragons departed, a ceremony was held at the site. In times of great strife, blow the horn and we will answer, the dragon said. Onara herself blessed the horn, summoning great winds to blow through it. That was the only time the horn has sounded in our great history. Though it has been centuries since the Green Dragons left these lands, they entrusted the Maruk with protecting them. I have to believe that the Dragons will still honor our pact of friendship and come to our aid when we sound the horn. But that pact and our entire way of life is now threatened by that fool Balakar and his selfish bid for power. Let us hope the Tirai who guard the horn have held out. Entering the village with the outsider. 
stay and defend this position as we advance. This is nowhere near the full forces of Clan Nokud. Balakar's lieutenant, Karl, to reach the horn. Come and try it, little Khan of Matra! The primalists have made me strong! that up ahead. It is Onara! What will you ask of the Conan Mockery? Onward. The Emerald Gardens will fall! The daughters of Tira smile on Kanamotra! Was that the Horn of soul? It was loud enough to wake the dead! Yes, Coraleth forced Onara to bless Balakar. He blew the horn to lure the dragons into a trap. Tomo, return to Marakai and inform the Khans. Rally our forces 
and begin the march towards the Emerald Garden. It is time to prove our allegiance to the dragons, or both of our people will perish. At once, Kanamatra. The winds have abated. You can reach the dragons quickly by riding your drake from a high point nearby. I will meet you there. Go with haste. of your brethren saddens our hearts as much as the death of our own kind. Balakar did this. Balakar and his clan the Nokul. They have shown their weakness and their cowardice by working with the primalists. We hope to resolve our civil war. Now I see there is only one path forward. We must vanquish them. Three clans stand with you, daughter of the dream. Tirai, Shikar, Onir. We must join you to repel the warmongers from our land. I accept your offer to stand with us, Kanamatra. My kin's sacrifice will not be forgotten. We fight together. Well met. Follow the wind. What would you ask of me? Shortly after we returned to our ancient grove to the west, the Primalists attacked. We destroyed them time and again. The Primalists knew they needed the Centaur on their side to defeat us. Clan Nokud's Dragon Killer Ballista is the key to their victory. The Nokud are relentless. With their help, Korleth's Primalist army has found a way to break our defenses. The barrier to the Ancient Bow must not fall. Within it lies our portal to the Emerald Dream. I shudder to think what they wish to do to it. Our sanctuary lies ahead. Meet me there. We will rally the remainder of our forces. People will know that you speak with my voice. Now go, quickly.
the Isles have awakened. Aspects watch over you. Time. A report? <laughs> a report is that the rear flank is secure. You stand amidst the carnage that secured our victory. See what others can... See those stone pillars? They are part of a barrier that keeps anyone from approaching. We must protect them, or the island's defenses will fall. the Nokud's abilities, but also join their ranks. Look at the size of those stormbound colossi. This does not go well for us. The portal must lead to where the primalist reinforcements await. I wonder if slaying those summoners would disrupt it. Perhaps it would collapse. Quickly, Avara, return before they see you. No! See, those pylons empower Coralette's destructive power. If we cannot stop her, she will destroy the pillar, and the ward that protects the ancient bow will fall. You are welcome at my fire. Tell me. Ballista is down. Now the green dragon flight can take to the skies and join the battle. Come back in one piece. 
farewell. Well done. I see the pylon. There it is. Good. I will take it from here. What will you ask of the Ganamatra? This here is fulfilled. Let us meet again. Come, little one. The primalists have been dealt with. Our forces will make quick work of any foolish enough to linger. Without our allies, we could not have achieved this victory. 
Marithra is summoning their leaders to an audience. She asked for you as well, my friend. This day, you have proven yourself to the Green Dragonflight. It is a deed of kindness and sacrifice my people will not soon forget. you ask of me? May from the hunters who value skill above all, a rite of passage, a first. From the mystics who commune with the wind, her lightest touch, a lift. From the descendants of the matriarch, a drop of unbroken progeny, an ancient line unforgotten. My first kill was quite some time ago. Nothing of it remains. Yes, that makes sense. After their first hunt, a young hunter of our clan receives a ceremonial spear. Ta this spear is proof of your skill. I accept this offering. I like your enthusiasm. But I do not think that is right. I do not think it is that sort of verse. We should think of something else. As all Ohuna are the offspring of Onara, this feather should suffice. Welcome. Onara's spirit blesses us all. I accept your offering. That does not make sense to me. Perhaps something else? Tempting, but no. Perhaps when they were ill-tempered young babes, I could have been swayed. A bloodline. I have an idea. Here, take this. Take some food for the room. I remember Tira well. You are so much like her. I accept your offering. Greetings. I, the Kanamatra Serist, accept this gift. To honor the ancient oath made by our most sacred ancestor. All centaur under Onara's wings will aid the green dragonflight in times of need. And I, Marithra, daughter of Isera, accept this gift to honor my oath to your ancestor Tira. Together, dragons and centaur will protect the Onaran Plains. Should the dream be threatened again, know that the Maruk will fight beside you. The bond that united us in ages past has been renewed. Let this Oathstone serve as a symbol of our covenant. I vow to protect the Emerald Dream and the Green Dragonflight with my life. Well met. Good luck. Hello, champion. <laughs>